Signed up and ready to start using Sendbird? Then log in and we'll get you ready to code in the next minute. The very first time you log into Sendbird, you'll be asked to name your organization. This is the high level group for all your applications and can be renamed later. Next, you'll go right into creating your first app. Leave the default chat option on as you can always enable voice and video support later. Give your project a memorable name, then select a data center region that's closest to you or your intended market. Now that you have your first project, add some initial users by clicking on the Users tab on the left, then on the Create User button on the right. IDs are meant to be assigned by your backend while nicknames are meant to be seen by others. For now, just use easy to remember strings. Optionally add a profile image, but leave the access token option unchecked. This is an extra level of security you can enable later. Add at least one more user to test with. Now, copy the application ID located here in settings or in the application's main page. You'll need this to connect to Sembird from your SDK implementations. And that's it! You can now begin implementing any of Sembird's SDKs. Check out our docs for specific platform guides. Thank you and happy coding!